Afade Ali. Welcome to the Happy Family SDA Church Holiday Concert. Due to current circumstances, this year's concert will be a little different, but we are so blessed to still find a way to make this concert happen. I like the other concert we hold in the past. This year concert has been planned to help one way for the students of Happy Family Church who attend Guam Avengers Academy. All proceeds will help us save 17 students from our church and make it possible for them to continue education from our academy school. We hope we, you are blessed by the music from the many participants from our neighboring churches and are reminded of the amazing gift God has given us this holiday season. Thank you. This holiday season is a time for us to reflect on what God has done for us. It is often around this time we think about the Bible and its nativity story. The holidays not only remind us of Jesus' birth, but they also remind us of his message of hope. It's been a long year, but as we come to the end of 2020, let's put aside our worries for a moment to praise God for all the wonderful things he has given us. In face of everything that has happened, let's finish this year with the heart of gratitude. In this season, as we celebrate and thank God for all our blessings, let's not forget to thank Him for the Savior who came long ago as a child to be with us. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Matthew chapter 1 verse 23.
God created the world, it was perfect. Everything was peaceful and beautiful. But when sin came, it brought suffering and death. This was not what God wanted. God wanted the people He created to always be with Him. But because of sin, they couldn't be. Sin ruined the perfect world that God created, but He had a plan to save it. There is a prophecy in the Bible that tells of God's plan to save the world. Prophets from the Old Testament foretold that a Savior would come to the earth and save His people from their sins. Their Savior would be called Jesus, the Son of God. Several generations heard the prophecy of the coming Savior, but unfortunately there were many who did not believe it. Those who did believe patiently waited for the Savior to be born. Jesus would come for all people and He would be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. Although sin separated us from God, He had a plan. Through a baby, God drew us close despite our sin and sent His Son to live on earth to show us the way back to our Father. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on His shoulders. And He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6.
was a young woman who lived in the town of Nazareth. She was engaged to a man named Joseph. But before they were married, an angel came to her. This angel's name was Gabriel. When Gabriel appeared to Mary, he told her, You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. When Mary heard that she would have a child, she did not understand how it was possible. How would this be? Mary asked the angel, Since I am a virgin, the angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Gabriel also told her, For no word from God will ever fail. Mary was given an important job. She was chosen by God to be the mother of Jesus. This was a big job for a young woman, but she was not alone. When the angel first appeared to Mary, he said, Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. And even though the plan did not sound possible to her at first, Mary believed the angel when he told her that God would make it happen. In our lives, we may face difficult situations that we don't think we can handle. There may be many things that seem impossible for us to overcome, but with God, anything is possible. He is by our side and with us through it all. No matter where you come from, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, with God in your life, He has the power to use you as His servant and make all things possible. After hearing all that the angel told her, Mary answered, I am the Lord's servant. May your word be fulfilled. Then the angel left her.
At the time before Jesus was born, all the people that were under Roman rule were ordered to return to the place they were born to be registered. When Joseph and Mary heard this order, they left Nazareth and traveled to Joseph's birthplace, the town of Bethlehem. Mary was pregnant and it was almost time for her to give birth, but when she and Joseph got to Bethlehem, there was no room for them at the inn. The promised Savior was about to be born, but there was no place for him to stay. When Mary and Joseph found a place to stay, it was not in a room at the inn, but it was in a stable. Although this place was unconventional, it was here that the Savior would be born. When the promised child was born, there was no crib or cradle waiting for him. Instead, there was only a feeding trough called a manger. Sometimes our hearts can be like the crowded inn. Our hearts and minds can be so full of our mistakes, worries, and pain of life that there is no room for Jesus. We must remember to surrender all the unwanted things that are taking up space in our lives and let go of all our worries to make room for Jesus in our hearts. Because once He is, our hearts and minds will be transformed and our lives will never be the same again. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swallowing clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Luke chapter 2 verse 7.
Thank you very much for coming to our holiday concert at the Happy Family. We are very glad that through this online um, offering and music that we can not only enjoy good music, have our minds and our thoughts uh, focus on Jesus Christ, but this, is, this concert is also a wonderful opportunity for giving. You see, this concert uh, hopes to generate uh, donations from you, our very, very wonderful and beloved friends and family of the Happy Family Church, because we believe in Adventist education. There are several students who want to learn more about God in the school setting. The Guam Adventist Academy is a wonderful place for learning, for learning about all the other academics with included in that, learning about the Bible and about God. Several students in the Happy Family congregation want to have that kind of education. And here's your opportunity to, um, to donate and to support these wonderful young people who are seeking to know more about God in their schooling. How can you give? Well, you can give online. You can go to Adventist Giving. Now, Adventist Giving, I'm just going to take a look at my uh, notes here. If you go to AdventistGiving.org, you can go to that online site, AdventistGiving.org. Search for the Happy Family Church. And under Local Church, you're going to, if you click on Local Church, then you can go to the Worthy Student Fund. And so go to Adventist Giving, find Happy Family, and there under the Local Church, you can find Worthy Student Fund. And that is where you can give uh, to the to the worthy student and make sure that another child, another young person can have Christian education. Thank you very, very much, and God bless you for your generosity. Now, please, enjoy the rest of the music and the rest of our program. Shepherds were living in the fields, watching their sheep. When an angel invited them to see the newborn Savior, an angel appeared before the shepherds. The glory of the Lord shone around them. The shepherds were afraid, but the angel told them that they did not to be afraid, because he was sent to bring them a message of joy. These shepherds who live with sheep may not have looked suitable to be invited by angels to see Jesus, but they were worthy. They were worthy to see Jesus because God decided they were and sent his angels to invite them. Sometimes we think that we are unworthy. As kids, we might think that because we are young, that we are small. And because we are small, we are not important. Even some adults may think like that too that they are not good enough. If you feel that you are unworthy, just think of shepherds. The shepherds did not have the wealth or the fame of kings. They did not wear the finest clothes or live in the biggest palaces, but they were invited to see their newborn king and come to him just as they were. The shepherds were ordinary people, 
but they were worthy to be before the Son of God, and so are we. Suddenly there was with the angel a multitude, the heavenly host, praising God in same, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. After the angels left them, that the shepherds set out to find a newborn Savior. The shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. The shepherds searched and found baby Jesus just like the angels said they would, laying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. After telling people about the Savior, the shepherds returned, thanking God for all they had witnessed. It was a miracle. What these men saw that night was amazing, and after all they had seen, they couldn't keep it to themselves. The shepherds shared the news of Jesus' birth with others because they knew that it was not just for them, but for all people. Earlier that night, the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy which will be to all people. 
All people can receive God's gift of salvation. We do not have to be flawless or perfect to be saved. When Jesus came, he already knew we were sinful, but he chose to die for us anyway. He paid the price of death so that we could have eternal life. Anyone who truly believes in Jesus Christ can be saved. Let's spread the good news. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16
wise men from the east noticed a bright star in the sky and journeyed after it in a search of a newborn king. When Herod the king heard that the new king would be born, he called the wise men to learn what they knew about the child. After speaking with the king, the wise men continued following the star until it stopped and rested above the child that they had been looking for. These wise men have followed and trusted the star to lead them to their lord and it did. At last the travelers had found their king. Once the wise men found the child, they worshipped him. They bowed down and gave the young child gifts they brought with them on their journey. After the wise men had found the new king, their journey was not over. Thankfully, the wise men were not alone. God was there to lead them and warn them in a dream to not return to King Herod. They listened to God instead of the king's orders and went home. The wise men were led by a star and because they followed it, they found Jesus. God led the wise men and he continues to lead us today. He gave us his word, the Bible, for us to follow, just like he gave a star for the wise men to follow. We were given a guide, but sadly, there are many people today who choose not to follow it. If we want to be true wise men and women, we must trust and follow our guide. Then, like the wise men long ago, we too will find Jesus. Throughout the Bible, God has been searching for us. For more than a thousand years, He has used prophecies and miracles in an effort to reach us. He even sent His only Son to dwell among us and to die so we could live. Our God did all this so that we could one day be with Him. We have an amazing God who gave us so much to be grateful for. This was a hard year, but through all our challenges, God never left us. He's been with us since the very beginning and did all He could to give us hope. Let's continue to praise and thank God for everything He has done. We come to the end of this year, look towards the future. We could trust that God will be with us. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15:13. Thank you. 
Thank you for your support during these hard times. We truly appreciate your donations and especially your prayers. We want to thank all the participants for sharing their musical talents and for everyone who worked behind the scenes to make this virtual concert possible. We want to wish you all a very merry and safe Christmas and a happy new year. Thank you and God bless!